Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at calculating the derivative of a vector function. And this vector function is more of a conceptual example because the vectors a, b, and c are not really given. Um, they're just assumed to be constant numbers inside those vectors. So what we're going to do is we're going to rely on um, some basic algebra of vectors. So what that means is we're just going to do some vector operations first to rewrite our R of t. First of all, notice that uh, vector cross products can distribute over vector addition. So that's something we talk about when we introduce vectors and cross products and things like that is that vector cross products can distribute over vector addition. So this becomes t a cross t b plus parentheses t a cross t squared c. Now we know that real numbers can come out of the cross product. So here's a real number, here's a real number. Both of them come out of the cross product. It's basically like a 2a and a 3b. That comes out as a 6. Well here we have t and t, so that's going to come out as t squared. a times b or a cross b basically. So a cross b. Plus t cubed is going to come out of this cross product and then a cross c is left and now a cross c is just a constant vector so now r of t is written this way now some people might say why am i pulling two t's out of this first term here when they could just factor out one t well this is not a an addition or a subtraction it's a multiplication it's a multiplication of vectors so if you had 2 times a times 3 times b, you would combine the 2 and the 3 as a multiplication as a 6. So that's basically the same thing that's happening here is these two t's come out as a multiplied t squared. All right, so now I've got our vector function written a little more cleanly. And here's like a constant vector, and here's a constant vector. Now to take the derivative, just treat those constants like you would when you normally take derivatives. And this is going to become 2t times the constant a cross b plus 3t squared times the constant a cross c and the constant being that it's just a constant vector. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean we could distribute and um, if they actually gave us an a and a b vector that we could plug in then we could plug those in and add them together but that's basically the idea behind the problem is to conceptually just understand vector algebra and then conceptually understand how to take derivatives of functions of vector functions and when the only thing that varies is uh, just a t to the first power and a t to the second power or t to the third power you basically can treat those other vectors like constants so that's exactly what they are a cross b is a constant vector a cross c is a constant vector so you pretty much just do normal differentiation at that point and that's how we do it